Have you ever had a stomachache so bad that even your favorite blanket couldn't help? Or watched someone you love in pain that just wouldn't go away? That's where our story begins. With pain. Because pain doesn't care who you are. It just shows up. Sometimes quietly. Sometimes like a storm that won't stop. For a long time, doctors tried everything. Pills, surgeries, fancy machines. And yet, some people still suffered. Then one day, someone looked at a simple green plant and said, What if this could help? That plant was called cannabis. Imagine a plant with tiny green leaves shaped like stars. It grows quietly under the sun, nothing magical looking at all. But inside, those leaves are chemical helpers called cannabinoids. Think of them like tiny keys, and inside our bodies are matching locks, part of the endocannabinoid system, your body's hidden communication network. It helps control mood, pain, sleep, hunger, and memory. So, when cannabis is used medically, those natural keys fit into your body's locks, helping it calm down, heal, or find balance again. That's not magic, that's biology. Your body is like an orchestra. Each instrument, your brain, heart, immune system, plays its own song. But sometimes one goes off key. Pain, fear, or inflammation turns the music into noise. Cannabis helps tune the orchestra. One famous key, THC, can make people feel high, but it's also a strong pain reliever and appetite booster. It tells the brain, you can relax now. Another key, CBD, doesn't cause a high. It's the gentle friend saying, let's calm down when your body's alarms are blaring. CBD helps with anxiety, inflammation, and even seizures. When used carefully, cannabis isn't just a plant. It's a way to help your body find harmony again, just like how you carefully smash that like button. Thousands of years ago in China, India, and Egypt, cannabis was medicine, a herb for toothaches, headaches, even childbirth pain. Today, science confirms what healers once knew. Medical cannabis can ease chronic pain, especially when traditional drugs fail or cause side effects. People with arthritis use it for aching joints. Cancer patients use it to ease chemotherapy pain. Those with nerve damage say it quiets the body's endless shouting. As one patient said, before cannabis, pain was the only thing in the room. Now, I'm back. Severe illness can steal appetite. Food tastes wrong. The body feels weak. THC helps wake it back up. It makes food appealing again and helps the body absorb nutrients. Doctors call it appetite stimulation. And for some patients, it's the difference between fading away and healing. Anxiety, PTSD, and depression can feel like storms that won't end. Cannabis, especially CBD, helps quiet the wind. It interacts with brain areas that control fear and worry. It doesn't erase problems, but helps people face them calmly. For PTSD, it can reduce flashbacks. For social anxiety, it eases panic. For depression, it can gently lift the weight, like opening curtains after a long night. But balance matters. Too much THC can worsen anxiety. Used carefully, cannabis becomes emotional first aid, helping the mind breathe again. When pain, fear, or sickness steal sleep, the body breaks down. Cannabis helps restore it. THC helps people fall asleep faster. CBD helps them stay asleep and wake up calmer. Doctors use it for insomnia, nightmares, or pain that keeps people awake. Good sleep isn't luxury. It's part of healing. And sometimes this green plant gives that gift back. Charlotte, a young girl, had hundreds of seizures a week. No medicine worked until doctors tried CBD oil. Her seizures almost stopped. That moment changed medical history. Today, FDA-approved CBD medicines like Epidiolex help people with rare epilepsies live, play, and smile again. Cannabis went from being called a drug to being recognized as a lifesaver. Now, imagine your body as a house with a fire alarm. When you're hurt, inflammation sets off the alarm. But sometimes it never stops, even with no fire. That's what happens in autoimmune diseases like arthritis, Crohn's, or multiple sclerosis. Cannabis helps quiet the alarm. Cannabinoids tell the immune system, we're safe now. You can rest. 
That's why some patients use it to reduce pain, stiffness, and swelling. Science keeps uncovering new ways cannabis supports the body's defense system, not by fighting it, but by bringing it back into balance. Cannabis doesn't cure cancer, but it helps people endure it. Chemotherapy brings nausea, pain, and exhaustion. Cannabis calms the stomach, eases pain, and lifts mood, helping patients reclaim a sense of control. Some studies even suggest cannabinoids might slow tumor growth, though research continues. For now, doctors focus on what's proven, comfort, appetite, and relief. Because healing isn't just about killing disease, it's about making life worth living while you heal. In Alzheimer's, memory fades. In Parkinson's, movement trembles. Cannabis can't cure these diseases, but it can soften their edges. It helps ease stiffness, tremors, and mood swings. Some studies suggest cannabinoids protect brain cells like tiny shields. For families, even a small improvement, a smile, a calm evening feels like a miracle. Every medicine has risks. Cannabis can cause drowsiness, dizziness, short-term memory fog, anxiety, especially from too much THC, and sometimes dependence. That's why doctors emphasize balance. Like fire, cannabis can warm or burn. It's not about getting high, it's about getting well. Used responsibly, it becomes a tool for healing, not escape. For decades, cannabis was demonized. Governments banned it, films mocked it, and people went to jail for possessing it. But history is shifting. Science confirms what ancient healers knew. A plant can be misunderstood and medicinal at the same time. Now, countries are rethinking laws. Doctors are researching openly. Patients are speaking out. This plant gave me my life back. It's not about rebellion anymore. It's about responsibility and compassion. When people discuss cannabis, they often focus on symptoms, pain, appetite, sleep. But its healing can also be emotional, even spiritual. Long illness can make people forget who they are. Pain becomes their shadow. Cannabis helps some reconnect, not by numbing, but by quieting the noise long enough to feel like themselves again. That too is medicine. Scientists have discovered over 100 cannabinoids, each with unique effects. Some support the brain, others the heart or immune system. Research is exploring cannabis for anxiety and PTSD, addiction recovery, autism spectrum, chronic inflammation, traumatic brain injury. The future of medicine might not rely on smoking or whole plants, but on targeted extracts, patches or capsules precision healing from nature. It's a meeting point between ancient wisdom and modern science. Cannabis isn't perfect, it's not for everyone, but for many, it's a bridge between pain and peace, between despair and dignity, between surviving and truly living. So maybe when we look at this green plant, we shouldn't see a drug. We should see what it's always been, a teacher from the earth, reminding us that healing can grow in the simplest of places. If this helps you see cannabis in a new light, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories that make complex things simple.